garden today after school and work with the kids. We're going to do some seed planting and Penelope is doing some caterpillar catching. We're, we found a lot of caterpillars on our plants so I decided to catch them and show them all to you. See, there they are. These things were, were on our um, brassicas. brassicas and I was picking some clovers for them to eat. So what we're going to do, we're going to take this GIF seed starting mix and we're going to pour it into this container and we're going to get it nice and wet. Once we get it wet and stirred up, we'll fill out our trays and then I'll come back and show you how that looks. Penelope's going to be planting the Zinnia Double, uh, Giant Double Enchantress. She picked these out from the store. This dark opal purple basil and this showy evening primrose. When I was growing up, we would go to my grandma's house and these would just grow wild. We call them buttercups, but they're, they're actually evening primroses. Um, but I loved these as a child and when I saw this packet at the store, I had to pick it up. This is actually one of our native wildflowers, so this will also work for our native certification. Okay, so we have two trays with our seed starting mix in it, and we're going to let Penelope start with her zinnias. The zinnias say to plant them a quarter of an inch deep. The purple stardust says just to surface sow, so I had got an easy job here. And we're using 72 cell uh, seed trays here. Since they're not going to be in the trays very long, we just want to get them started. The next one I'm going to do is white swan echinacea. This one's also a quarter of an inch deep. The next one I'm going to do are these Salvia Queen Mix. These seem to see them a sixteenth of an inch deep. As you can say, these are bad for the vegetables too, but they're cute because their hairs right are not spikes. Don't they're they just little them. hairs. And you're so funny. They're little sweet teddy bears. these Heliopsis, some Oxide False Sunflower. These should be seeded an eighth of an inch deep. And when I got these, they actually said that the germination was pretty poor, so I'm gonna add in several seeds per cell. So now Penelope's gonna do the candy cane zinnia. I'm gonna get started on the top row of that one with the evening primrose. This one should be an eighth of an inch deep. These are pretty much surface so. Um, it says an eighth of an inch deep, but it says to just tamp them into the soil. Oh wow, this is like, like dust, like golden dust. <laughs> so there's no grabbing a seed. I'm just gonna pour some in my hand and just pinch them. Tamping down the soil to make sure there's good contact between these showy primrose seeds and the soil. Because they're so light, the wind could just take them away. Can y'all see that? It's just like gold dust in there. All that are seeds. Let's see if I can get it to focus. They're so small. The last thing we're going to sow in this tray is some purple cone flower seeds. It'll be a fun experiment to see the difference between this and these bare root. I actually found this at uh, Big Lots for $5 for two bare root um, cone flowers. So we'll have an experiment to see which one's going to perform better. Uh oh, uh oh. They bite me. Like and don't forget to like and subscribe. This is a 12 quart bag of Jiffy Seed Starting Mix. 
I used a little bit out of here already, so I was only able to fill up two and a half of my trays here. These are 72 cell trays. I think if I had had a whole bag here, I would have been able to fill up all three of my trays. I do have a comparison video coming up. I have coconut core bricks that make eight quarts of material. So I will be trying that out soon. And I've sent the children on the quest to collect all of the caterpillars from the garden. Because it is caterpillar season and before it starts spraying, I wanted to let them have fun and collect all the caterpillars they could get. These friends will turn into me or my friend Martha. <laughs> but you don't want the larvae all over your, your plants. But I'd like to take care of your plants and make sure my babies don't eat too much of dessert plants. <laughs> Although, it is healthy for them. I'm a mother, okay? Don't judge me. So the trays I have left, I'm separating out in between what um, seeds I have left. This one is Yarrow Cerise Queen. This one is going to be Dark Purple Basil. I'm just going to do six plants of this one. And then I have this Echinacea Paradiso mix. This is the um, Echinacea Purple um, Paradiso is the Latin name for this one. I'm going to do 12 of these because I think the colors are so pretty. The rest will be the Salvia Sirius Blue Sage. Oh, these are pelleted seeds. I actually dropped a few. I'm going to add in some of this Joe's Organic Rose and Flower Granular Plant Food to these two pots. These are the ones that I'm going to use for these bare root echinacea. Let's see how these compare to the seeds. Okay, so to remind, to remind you what we're doing, this is a pack of bare root cone flowers that I picked up from Big Lots. It was $5. It says there's two cone flowers in here. Well, I have searched through this peat moss that these plants are supposedly have come in. I found one and I cannot find the other. So I'm gonna plant this one up and then I'm gonna moisten this peat moss and I'm hoping that it'll start sprouting and then I'll be able to see the green and then plant that one up. I'll tell y'all, this feels really flimsy. I, I'll be surprised if this does anything. I might be trying to bring this back for a refund. <laughs> Let's get this planted. So I just left the very top pointing out of the soil. I'm thinking it, um, you know, it'll, it'll need the little corn like that. And the rest, I don't know. We'll see. I'll just um, get that one, get that peat moss moistened up, and we'll see if it ends up growing anything. Okay, so it has been one whole week since Penelope and I sowed these seeds, and we are starting to have some little seedlings pop up. These here are the yarrows, the cerise queen. Those are popped up well. No basil or echinacea just yet, and no sal no blue salvia yet. These are ice plant. You see there's a little bit of green there. Those are very small. No white echinacea yet, no heliopsis. We are getting a few of these queen mix salvia. And if you look over here, our zinnias, most of them have popped up. The candy cane mix and the giant double enchantress. The primrose, we are getting some little primrose pop up as well. And some more purple cone flower, not just yet. So this is what it might look like about a week after you sow those seeds. We'll come back when some more have germinated. And now it has been two whole weeks since Penelope and I sowed these seeds. The primrose has all germinated. The purple cone flower have not yet. The zinnias are looking good. 
they're getting even their first set of true leaves on them. The Queen Salvia mix is starting to germinate and even maybe a Heliopsis or two. The white Echinacea has not germinated yet. The ice plant is starting to germinate. Those are some tiny, tiny seeds. So those plants are still very, very small. The, Sil the Sirius Blue Sage has not germinated yet and the paradiso mix echinacea has not germinated yet this might be our very first dark opal basil there at the bottom and our yarrow cerise queen they're looking great so this was a fun experiment to show how much growth you can expect week by week from these little seeds also, it has been two weeks since we put that bare root echinacea into this pot and gave it some water and I see no growth at all. So I would not recommend buying that box of bare root that we got from that discount store. They just don't seem to be viable plants. I can't wait to see how this video turns out. 